Good morning. It's Celine and I am just doing a walk through my garden like I do at least once every day. And uh, I'm just checking it out. It's vine borer and... Oh, hold on. Vine borer and squash bug season. just getting started and I used to be too squeamish to do that but I've seen what they can do to my squash and so I am not squeamish about squishing them with my bare hands anymore but this is what I do every single day is I come out and I check the bottoms of all of my leaves on my squash plants and I have quite a few squash plants so sometimes it's as they grow kind of a big deal but if you can get those squash bug while their eggs and haven't uh, hatched yet you will save yourself a lot of issues. Now these are the repicante squash and these are the repicante. This one and that one that looks thirsty but he shouldn't be. And those are the, Can the Canada crookneck which are supposed to be pretty um, vine borer and squash bug resistant. I am seriously looking here to make sure that that little guy that I just squished did not already lay some eggs. I call him a little guy, but he wouldn't be a guy if he was laying eggs, now would he? Okay, I think we're good here. I honestly have found no eggs on either one of these plants. I say that and as soon as I say that I'll find some, but um, I have not. I Honestly, I, I was told that these are very squash bug and vine borer resistant, both, both kinds, and so far they appear to be. Although I do have some really wilty ones for some reason right there so I will certainly keep an eye on that one let's see what we've got over here I mean I don't want to find any but I kind of want to find some to show you but I don't think I'm going to on these squash plants I honestly have never had a vine borer or a squash bug issue with my cucumbers. I know a lot of people say they do, but I never have. And my cukes are looking mighty, mighty healthy. Saw a couple of little babies over here. Ah, there's one. Can you see it right there? Little cuke growing. So I'm excited about things setting on. All right, let's go over here. I've got quite a few tomatoes setting on. And now let's look at these squash. They just kind of sat at the same stage for quite a few days and I was beginning to wonder if there was an issue, but they're starting to grow. Now this is where I've been finding, aha, those little culprits, do you see them? Those are squash bug eggs. And this is what we're gonna do. Let's see if I can do it one-handed here. 
hold my phone. I can't see because of the sunshine. If you can see, let's see. Nope, where's, there we are. I'm just gonna literally take my thumb and just squash the snot out of them and get them all squished up and dead. Yep, that's the end of them. All right, let's keep looking. I have found two or three leaves a day that have some squash eggs on them. And I have only been finding two or three squash bugs a day to smash. So if I can just keep on top of this, I should be okay. I mean, I am just not going to let them have my crop. That's all there is to it. I so far have not seen any evidence of vine borers. Let's come over here and take a look at this one. And I still see zero evidence of vine borers. What you're looking for for vine borers is right right in through here somewhere on the stalk let's come over here on one you can see better right here on the stalk this main stalk you should start seeing like a brown sawdusting sawdusty looking stuff and as soon as you see that you know that you have a vine borer egg that has hatched and now has um, bored into the base of your, could have bored into a stem, but bored in and because these stems are all hollow and the base is all hollow, um, they are able to then just drop down into the base. So I'll show you what I mean by hollow. See, this is a leaf that I, I cut off and as you can see down in there, that's literally hollow. And so they're all like that. And I am cutting and getting rid of all the bottom leaves so that I can see what's going on so that there's more airflow down there and I don't get any um, moisture issues. It's very humid here and I want the bees to be able to get to the blossoms and I want to be able to find my squash so that is what to protect my squash plants and um, make sure that I get a good harvest because I had the first year I did squash um, I don't think I got one not one because the vine borers got there I didn't know what they were I didn't know what to look for or anything is they the plants looked healthy but they never set on not one fruit and I know that was because the vine borers had already taken over I saw that sawdusty stuff but I didn't know that wasn't normal so now I know if I, I hope I don't get any um, vine borers but if I do I will bring you back and show you what I'm gonna do this year to combat them it's a whole new thing I told my sister about it and she's like geez Celine you are taking this gardening thing way too serious you weirdo so anyway I don't think you can take gardening too serious but that's it guys I just wanted to check in with you today show you what's going on with the squash um, what to look for and if I have any issues I'll get back with you and show you what I'm gonna do about it so thanks for watching hit the like button if you liked it um, subscribe if you want more information want more videos like this and home cooking pantry videos uh, preserving um, all the homestead things so uh, yeah I'd love to have you in my community I thank you for watching I love you guys Mwah. oh my goodness y'all I have to show you I was just out here yesterday showing y'all how to um, spot um, 
uh, vine borers and how to spot squash bugs and get rid of them and their eggs and all of that. That was just yesterday. We have had a good rain last night and there were no squash. There were some blooms, but there were no squash on either my uh, tromboni, the repicante. Let me flip you around here. Those and that over there. So like right there and right here. And then the Canada crookneck. So check this out, y'all. There are just tons of little babies all of a sudden just everywhere. I'm so excited. These are supposed to really be prolific. And yeah, it looks like they are going to be. Check these out over here come around this side look look at all the babies see they are just everywhere and these are not as obvious although I did see a few a minute ago now I don't see them but there are several on the Canada crookneck as well so anyway I was really excited and I just wanted to show you that